Hey guys, it's Ashley and I'm back with a video where I'm going to give you a little tutorial on how to upload a free design into Cricut's Design Space Library. So a lot of you guys are just starting out on your Cricut journey or maybe you haven't really played around with um, uploading new designs into the library. I wanted to make this easy and kind of walk you through it. So I'm going to show you step by step how you can upload a free image into Cricut's Design Space and go ahead and get started on crafting. So We'll get started with making sure first that we have Cricut's Design Space Library open. So you're gonna go to the Design um, Studio here. And on the left-hand side are a whole bunch of options. You just wanna make sure you have a brand new project open. And where I usually find free designs is I go into Pinterest and I search for free SVG. And an SVG file is something that is commonly used across the board uh, for Cricut, for other um, cutting machines. So this is a, a file type that you would use, you know, just standard across the board. So we're gonna search for free SVG and it'll pop open a whole bunch of different types. You can search all the way through here until you find something that kind of, you know, catches your fancy. Um, so I went ahead and I found one already I have no affiliation with this um, website, but I thought this was really handy. They have a lot of SVG files and these SVG files don't make you sign up for emails or anything else with them. So I thought this would be fun for demonstration. So these are all, you know, really cute farmhouse designs. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one of these and we're gonna walk you through how you can upload it. So say you're just like, this is adorable. I want this lemonade image. So we're gonna click on it. And there are different file types that you can use um, in Cricut's Design Space and for upload. So if we go to Cricut's Design Space, on the left are a whole bunch of options here. New for a brand new project, template to upload um, a little template design. Say you're gonna make a card or a t-shirt. It gives you the outline so you can kind of design on that visually. The next is projects, which is in um, Cricut's design um, library, and they give you a whole bunch of really cool ideas to work with. You can go into images and search in through Cricut's um, image library. Some of them will be free. Some of them you can only get through Cricut Access membership. Um, text, text gives you the option to write different words. Shapes, and of course you can design different shapes and add those two in with the, um, the designs in the library as well or with text. We're gonna go all the way down to the bottom where it says upload. And it tells you right here, we're gonna to go to image. And it says upload your images for free, basic and vector. Images can be, and these are the different extensions that you can choose. So you can choose JPEG, GIF, PNG, BMP, SVG, or DXF files. SVG is very common, so I usually work with that one. So what we're gonna do, is go ahead and download this. We're gonna go back to our page here. And one of the things you're gonna to wanna to make sure if you are someone who is thinking about starting their own business or you have your own business and you wanna create um, different projects with some of these free SVGs, make sure you check out the licensing on all of the free SVGs. Um, this one is for personal use only, which means you can't resell it. You can make it for family and for friends, for yourself, that sort of thing. They have no problem with it. But if it doesn't say um, for commercial use free, then skip that one unless you've went ahead and paid for it. So we're going to go ahead and download the zip file. The reason that the, PN, that the SVG file is in a zip is because it has multiple versions of the same file compressed down. So there's two ways you can open it. You can go ahead and double click on it and it opens it up. And It'll show up in your downloads folder and you can um, go to the lemonade one and you can open it um, and it will open to the regular file and it should show you inside that there's multiple versions of it. So when you're in here, you wanna pick the one that says SVG on the end and that's gonna be the one you work with. So we're gonna go back into Cricut Design Space. Say you're on the first page there. We're gonna go back to upload, go to upload image and it says drag and drop file here or you can browse so I'm just gonna click browse and it goes straight for my downloads here and this one was ice-cold lemonade 
and I'm going to go inside the file and pick the one that says SVG and then just click open. And you can see on the left hand side it has the image and it has the background here so that we can manipulate it. This makes it basically an invisible background. So it has a different name. You can go ahead and change the name if you want to. And then it has an area where you can put tags. So tags are how you can search for it in the system um, later. So you can go ahead and put um, tags that are related to this. So we could put lemon, lemonade, summer, yellow, anything like that that you know, you can search for to find it later. So I'm gonna also put farmhouse in here since it's kind of a farmhouse design. So make sure you put some tags in there just to make it easier for yourself um, because later you'll probably reference it again and you wanna be able to find it without having to search. Um, and then you'll just click save and it'll show up in your recently uploaded images. So say you uploaded it and you're gonna go ahead and try and find it. There's two ways you can find it. You can go into your images and search your images. So I wanna look for, one of the tags I used was lemonade. So I'm just typing lemonade up in the top search bar and we're gonna go ahead and click and there it is. So we can go ahead and insert that image. Let me go back and show you again too. Images, so we had typed in lemonade, you select it and you can see down here that it is selected, and then you just click where it says insert images. If you decide I don't like this, then you can go ahead and click that or cancel that. But we're gonna insert images. So it just sent another one here. If you can't remember what you tagged it in, you can always go back to upload and it will show your recently uploaded images. So we know that we just uploaded this one, or you can click view all on your recently uploaded images and it will show you all the ones that you've uploaded and you can select them that way too. So it just depends which one's easiest for you. If you do a lot of uploads, it might take longer to search this way. If you don't as much, then you can go ahead and, and do it that way. So we'd click on that and it's the same thing as in the design library. So you click on that and then it shows up here and you just click insert images. So there you go. So the neat thing about this is once you've uploaded this, you can go ahead and um, resize it, make it to fit exactly what you want. Um, so and it tells you the dimensions on the outside here. If you guys want more tutorials on showing you how to manipulate the images, changing the colors, changing the sizes, taking them apart and only using pieces of it, let me know and I'll go ahead and make walkthrough videos I definitely want to make the process easier for you. So if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a question below, a comment, um, and make sure to check out the group. I'll have a link to the group as well. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.